Hello everybody, this is Norm with Two Guys Farming. How you doing? Well, we're back again on Chalentan Extended. I'm definitely in a groove with this series. Um, having a ton of fun. It's good to be back. I think I've banged out maybe, I don't know, five or six episodes in a row. This is uh, going to be episode 30, I think. Um... Yeah, 30. I, I, or not 29, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So we've uh, made a lot of progress here. And as you can see, we're at our PGA facility. We've sold off the last remaining bits of silage. So that is good. It's left us with about $143,000. However, if you um, checked out our last episode, um, we had more than that. And the reason we don't have as much now is because of this. So, why is he... Why is he... Curious as to why he was just sitting there, but it looks like he's on track now. Yeah, okay, cool. So, well, let me go back. Yeah, so the reason we don't have as much money, we bought this. And the reason I bought this is like at the end of the last episode, all of the fields, um, yeah, you can see they all became harvestable. Is that a word? I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, they all became um, ready to harvest. So I only had the one combine on 17, my New Holland. So I was kind of worried that I wasn't going to be able to get to uh, some of these other fields before they withered. So, um, yeah. So I kind of, I went and I bought the Acros 595 Plus. I used this on Sosnovka. It was the cheapest combine. Um, so it's good combine. I'm happy with it. I've used it before. Um, so I like it. So I'm glad I did it. Um, because as you can see, you know, I may have jumped the gun by buying it. I'm not positive, but it would have been a really, really close to get all the fields done before they withered. So, we had some extra money, so I figured, eh, why not? Let's get another combine. We're going to need it eventually anyway. So, that's basically what I did. So, as you can see, I've got the New Holland on 15. He's harvesting that field. And I've got the Rolstel Mosher, whatever the hell, the Acros 595 Plus on field 11. So, once he's done with 11, I'll move him over to probably um nine and then six and then when he's done with 15 i'll move him to 10 or something like that so yeah so i've got the rostel mash here i have the case puma with the flegal emptying him and here's what else i bought the joskin I've been using this on one of my test maps, and I've really been liking it a lot. Um, and the reason I like it is it's you can kind of customize it a little bit. Um, and I can't make it smaller because I have fill in here now, but you can basically all the the top 
gray part you can remove. So then it's a lot smaller. I like it because it's a two-wheel trailer. It's short wheelbase. It's, it's perfect for this map. But it also has a really good capacity. I think it's right around 30,000 liters. So that's pretty good. And what I've been using this for is when the New Holland, right? So right now, the case is going to unload. The New Holland is 91%. So I don't want him sitting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over to that field and I'm going to empty them. So he's slipping, but he should free himself. He should free himself. Please free yourself. Yeah. Okay. So rather than allow the combine to sit and wait to be emptied because the tractor is a long ways off what I'm going to do is just use this as kind of a an emergency unload Whoop. so I'm going to come up here and where is he? There he is. Yeah, see? So he's 100%. So we're going to unload him. And that should buy enough time for the uh, the other tractor, the case, to get back here to empty him again. So that's what I'm doing with this. The only way I can avoid this from happening is to go with... Oh wow, I was really off on that. <laughs> um, is to use auger wagons and a trailer system. So instead of, say, using this Joskin, I would use an auger wagon like, say, this. And what I would do is uh, basically unload the auger wagon into a tractor in another trailer say by the road um, obviously that means more equipment more tractors more trailers which we don't really have the money for so I'm hoping this will be a kind of a good stopgap measure um, we'll see it should work out okay. So as you can see... Yeah, so this is going to be about 30,000 liters. And I've used this a little bit on my test map. I really like it. It's got the lights, the beacon in the back. It's a nice texture. Um, actually, I'm trying to think if it gets dirty now that I'm thinking of it. I think it does. I'm pretty sure it does. Um, so yeah, I like it. It's very, it's kind of a short wheelbase. It's compact. It's really perfect for this map. So we went, and it was a good price too. So we're just gonna empty this guy. Now the, the combine is empty. So, stop here, let him go on his way. And let's just see. Ooh, easy. <laughs> just, oh, man. I know. I, hey, you know what? I'm not going to complain. He knows he needs to get back there. Alright, so. The Deutz. So now. I need to figure out. Let me just check in here. Now, he's 42%. So what we're going to do is we're going to call the driver who's 43%. And I'm going to leave that there. We're going to go back 
to 11. There he is. Oh, he's going to get stuck at that car, I think. Let's see. Yep. Whoops. Yeah, this drives me crazy. That blue car right there. It's somehow in his way. So what I do is you just got to drive him pa past it and then he's fine. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come back to 11 and we're going to hook up our forage wagon. And then we're going to use our forage wagon to pick up the hay. And what's cool about this is we can copy the combined course. So, go ahead and hook this up. And copy course. Nope. Nope. Yep. Boom. And let's show all. And get to. Let's see, where are we here? Nope. We can come down this one. So this should pick up. Yep. Okay. So we're, we're missing a couple, but that's okay. Um, New Holland is slipping. He should free himself, but... Why is he... Oh, okay. That's more of the case than anything. Alright, so we'll get him out of the way. See, I think he's getting confused. Um, he's getting confused. Because the headlands, like I'll show you, when you do headlands, what happens is there's a lot of courses really close to each other, like right here. I mean, there's four different courses right there. So he gets a little confused. <laughs> Um, so let's just try and help him out. We're going to get him on this course right here. And that should be okay. Yeah. And then he should follow the next one. Alright, cool. And what we're doing is we're emptying this straw. Let me just go back here. So we're going to empty this straw in our new straw and hay storage facility, which if you saw the last episode, it's right here. Um, right to the, the grass field to the left of field 35 and the east of field 37. So what we did there was we added this storage facility. Which in the beginning, I was a little unsure of this one here. So this one takes bales of straw and hay. And also loose straw and hay. So, um, it's pretty cool. So, I was a little unsure. Yeah, so he should pick this one up. And he will. Okay, good. I was a little unsure about buying that. Um, but I'm glad I did. 
the only thing about it is I I don't know I, I kind of think that I wish it had more capacity so I'm just going to request the driver but that might not be an issue we'll see we shall see All right, so this Deutz, yeah, he kind of got stuck in the middle of nowhere. So what we want to do is bring him you know, he could he could pull the uh, forage wagon or I could use him to empty that Joskin trailer. Let's do that. So we'll use him to get that Joskin trailer emptied. It might be a little bit too much weight for him, uh, but we'll see. You can hear the church bells. At the Eagle Has Landed Church. World War II movie reference. For any of you Michael Caine fans, or who else was in that movie? Larry Hagman was in that movie, I believe. Um, Donald Sutherland. Yeah, that's right. He was in it. Oh, I drove by the Joskin for fuck's sake. <laughs> um, yeah, Donald Sutherland. There's our water. And our hay spreader. At some point, we'll uh, go ahead and bring those up to the farm. So pretty much everything we're doing right now, even this harvesting, is all in support of our animals. We're harvesting um, wheat because I pass this guy. We're harvesting wheat because we're using that to feed the animals. I'm curious to see how he's going to do pulling this. Because I have that weight mod. Let's see. Let's first put on our four wheel. Deutz far. Okay, so he's he's full. So that's cool. So let's shut him down. Boy, he's 84%. Okay. So let's just grab this. Park it right here for now. We're going to come back over here. And then I'm going to bring this up to show you guys. Looks like there's some space in there, but it's full. No biggie. And you can even see... Let me just get on the road and then we'll try. Uh-oh. Ooh, that was 
was close. Um, you can even see our hay straw. I'm gonna pass this guy. I know a lot of you guys are crazy about that when I do it, but it's just, it's not, you know, they just, the cars move too slow. I don't even know why I leave traffic on. There it is, there on the hill, just to the right of the windmill. So that's our storage facility for hay and straw. And I have no idea why, but as I drive over this field, it's planting. It's, something's growing. I don't know what it is. Um, but, yeah, no idea why it's doing that. But as I drive over it, see, he's even kind of struggling going up this hill. So, I also put a little shed over here. So this is going to be kind of our TMR straw and hay storage area. Right, so I have my Flegel bale collector trailer. I have my TMR maker there. And then I'll show you how this works. do here is just back up to this conveyor belt like this and there you go and as that empties there is our straw. You can see it just went up there a little bit. There it goes again. So, and what I did is I took my TMR mixer there, I brought it over, and you just drive it in here, and it will fill with either straw or grass. Or you can fill the grass from that pipe. Don't know why they give you the pipe option as well, but they do. So that's how that works. <clears throat> so right now I have in there a full load of straw and hay. So I just need to add the silage to that and we've got TMR. And the silage is up at the farm. so. We got a couple hundred thousand liters of it up there, so plenty. I'll just have to move the New Holland front loader up there, so I'll be able to use that to dump it in. And then we have TMR, so that's pretty cool. There's a cultivator over there. Just hang on one second. Let me. See. I gotta get the. Uh, uh, <coughs> okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. New Holland is, okay, so the, the Rostel mash is full. So 
let's do this. Oh, boy, that's steep. Wasn't expecting that. Let's go f empty the Rostel Mosh. The Monster Mash. Really happy with this trailer. I also have another Joshkin that I'm using on the Michigan series, but it's a three wheel, it's a larger wheelbase, larger capacity. Similar, very similar look. This one's cool because it gives you the versatility. It's a little bit shorter wheelbase, it's smaller. So, I like it. I like picking picking up different stuff, you know? Not always using the same equipment all the time. Just trying, you know, a little variation. Alright, so we're going to come up here. See, this is an epic failure right now. Both combines are sitting. So, not good. At least with this one, We'll be able to unload him and get him started. Okay. It's funny, it looks like it's full. But it says 70%. Right, so I don't know what the deal is there. And there seems to be a little square. Not sure what that's about. Maybe it's just compressing down. <laughs> his deal please select the tr inside the oh that's why son of a gun that should send him on his way now Case. Yeah. So he's good. I do have the option of adding another trailer. Um, but I don't know. It, it just seems like it might be too much. All right. So let me just drive him over here. And I'm going to come grab the other Deutzfar and get him picking up this hay. Boy, I had no idea it was that steep of a hill. Should be okay, though. Yeah. Alright, cool. So, we're going to drive to field 11 we'll continue to pick up the straw and then while we're doing that we'll hop in the aggro star and we'll go drop off the jaw skin and unload that load of wheat Sitting there waiting, not good. Yeah, so I've I've got a <clears throat> I had to do a couple things. 
one. See, it almost doesn't matter if I have a bigger tractor and trailer. Because the what causes him to wait is the time it takes the tractor. Let me just... Uh, okay, so we get the right one there. And is this... Nope. Wrong way. Of course, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to set him down this one. Just to make it easier for right now. Okay. I'm going to go empty this at the farm. Yeah, he's slow. <laughs> it's a pretty big load for him. 140 horsepower. It's not much. Carrying 27,000 liters of wheat. Don't know how much that weighs, but I have a feeling it's a lot. But let's take a look at our 284. So that's good. Canola, just about 750,000 liters of that. Awesome. Potatoes. We have three potato fields that are pretty close to being ready to harvest. And our case is stuck at that car. Unbelievable. So as I was saying, it's not the size of the trailer, it's the time that it takes the tractor and trailer to get back to the combine. So really, the only thing you can do is get a combine with larger capacity, because then um, you're buying more time for the tractor to get back to the combine, obviously, before it fills up. But bigger combines, I mean, is it huge? Oh boy. Jump in price. That Rostel Mosh, I think it costs 150,000 bucks. That's not a lot for a combine. It's, I think it's the cheapest combine. The next step up is like 300,000. Or close to it, 280. Yeah, he's struggling getting up this hill. And then the other thing is, you know, those, those bigger combines, they're not easy to get around these roads and lanes. So, that's something else you gotta consider. Alright, so let's unload this. I think this is a rear. Yeah. Really nice, nice trailer. Very nice trailer. Okay. Excellent. So we'll head back. I don't think we're going to run into the case quite yet. That field is ready to harvest canola. And then everything else is wheat. Nine, which is right on our right here. That's a wheat field right there. You can just see it over a little hid, hill there. 
That's nine, and then ten is what we're going to drive through right here. This is also wheat. So, we'll have plenty of wheat for our animals. Plenty of hay, plenty of straw, plenty of silage, plenty of TMR. So then we're really going to go heavy on the animals from that point on. So what we're going to do is, oh, let me just see, is this toy it's going to, nope, I thought he was going to collide, but it should be okay. Yeah, he's, oh, he looks like he's almost full too. Yeah, 91%, okay. So we'll let him do that, and we're going to get these two. <clears throat> okay, so he's needs to be emptied. So we're going to just park this guy here. We're going to hop in here. And we're going to go empty. So I guess, getting back to Combine's waiting, I guess the only option, the only two options we have is larger Combines with a higher capacity. Because I think the New Holland and the Rostel Mash each have capacities of around 9,000. Uh, which isn't, you know, a lot compared to the others that are anywhere from 10 to 12 to 14 can I let me see is there a shortcut if I go up here I think there is actually we're not going to we're not going to think about plowing or cultivating yet. Normally I use this Deutz and the cultivator and I follow the harvest. New Holland slipping, but I'm sure he's just stuck in a... Oh, I'm going to go over here and cross. Yep, so he's freed himself. Whoa, a little drifting. Yeah, so normally I follow the harvest with this Deutzfar and the cultivator. Just to kind of um, be as efficient as possible. But we're not going to worry about the replant of the next harvest or the prep field work just yet. We're just going to really focus on just getting all of this harvested. Oh, well, actually, yeah, okay. I think we can get over here. Yeah. Oh, you're kidding me. Damn you, oxygen damn. Uh, it's the only complaint uh, son of a gun, I have about this field this map really is you can't drive through these hedges and I get it I understand why but um, yeah but this is just a great detail even right there that little that little ledge right there, how it's cut into the earth. Awesome detail. Kuma Puma is slipping. What? How the hell did he get on the other side of the field? 
You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I don't understand. How the hell did he get over here? Yeah. <clears throat> he had to have come up here. Doesn't make sense. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that one, guys. And the weird thing is, he has, he's 30, he's got 7,000 liters in there, so he's already emptied him once since he came back. So he came back, emptied him, and then somehow drove around and got on the other side of that hedge. Oh boy. I have no idea. Anyway. So let's drive over here. So you can see the red bar on the right. That is our, our straw. So we're just going to back up. And who's stuck now? go and what we can do is we can come over here I think and yeah so there we go straw we're about uh, 53 yeah 54 55 you can see it going up so <clears throat> There we go. Yeah, so we're almost full. Case promo. What? Okay, so when it's on course play, he can drive through? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, is that how he got through? I don't know. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if this will... If I empty him and get him a little bit further, the combine a little bit further away. Let's see if that... makes a difference. I don't know that it will or not, but... <clears throat> Excuse me. The New Holland's almost empty. So let's just... Okay. So that's empty, so let's go ahead and... Try it back. that hedge again. Gonna love it. Well, he really goes slow going against these this plowed field. Not sure. I know there's a name for those rows. <coughs> um... Oh, I thought that gate was open. I'm too lazy to get out. I'll just drive over here. Um, I know there's a name for these rows. It's not rows. It's something else, I think. Is it furrows or furloughs? I don't know. I have a, for some reason, I think that's what they're called. When you plow a field and there are those rows. Furloughs or something like that? I don't know. Let me know. I know there's a couple of you guys out there that watch regularly, and I know you're both going to know. So, 
Feel free to chime in. I don't know why I'm thinking furloughs. I don't think it's that. I'm still puzzled as to why plowing is spelled P L O U G H I N G. Isn't it P L O W I N G? Or is that just the English and Queen's English way of, I don't know, of saying it? I think that might be it. I think it means the same thing. It's just. Alright, so we're going to go up this row here. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to go up this row. This row. <laughs> okay. Alright, cool. Um, we're going to drive this guy over to... Although he's safer now. Um, we won't need him for a little bit. Well, we'll need him pretty soon, but not so too soon. So we're just going to drive him over to field 15. Because the combine 76 and the case is 76. So the case is going to unload the New Holland. And when he does that, the New Holland's going to be about 60% full still. So... And then the, the, the Puma tractor is going to leave. And then what's going to happen is, obviously, as we've learned, the New Holland's going to fill up before the case gets back. So by unloading the New Holland, we should buy the case enough time to get back before the New Holland fills up, basically. So... <clears throat> They're going to do that there. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. Wow, that was awful. That was right in the mic. Sorry about that. I'm going to... I really hope I remember to edit that out. Um, yeah, I don't know. Something got in my throat or something. Yikes. Sorry about that. All right. So now... We're going to drive this up to the farm, Meadow Valley. Just taking a, what's the quickest way? I think I know the quickest way is the shortcut way, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, ouch. Oh, and here we go. Come on now, come on. You gotta be kidding me. I should sideswipe you. Boom, come down on your roof with a <laughs> bucket. All right, I'm not going to do that. All right, so we're going to drive this New Holland slipping, which should mean um, he's just stuck on one of those hedges. Yeah, so he freed himself, so we're good there. Yeah, so I really feel like we're, you know, we're starting to really get into, pardon the pun, the meat and bones of this series. We've had uh, three harvests and sold some TMR, uh, sorry, sold some silage. We got some good equipment. Still, we could probably use a, a, another tractor, a pretty beefy one at that. Um, oof, come on, buddy, you can do it. But yeah, we've uh, we've made some good progress, and we're we you know we're prepped and ready for animals. So. We're going to drive this up to the farm. 
and then we're gonna grab our TMR mixer and we'll bring that back to the farm and we'll make some TMR and then we're gonna put that into the the animal bins the, the trough I think they're called right <coughs> Case Poomer is 100%. He's transporting. The other one is 82. So let's just stop him real quick. And let's unload this new Holland. So this will at least prevent him from waiting. control on. Usually it's six miles an hour. Works fine. And Thwaites Fire needs to be unloaded. Okay, so that's our our straw. So he can wait. He's okay. We just want to empty this New Holland. check in with our case because we're going to have to move him. Oh, he's just getting to the... Wow, okay. Yeah, see? I mean... Alright. So he's full with another load of straw. Let's leave him there for now. And let's get oh, oh, wow, okay. Thought I was going to definitely get hung up on that. Alright, so first things first. We need to drop this weight. Now we're going to go pick up our TMR mixer. And what's the best way of getting there? Hmm. I think the road. I think the road's probably the quickest way. We could go through these fields, but I think this is probably going to be faster. It should be. There's our potatoes. Looking good. Looking really good. They're actually looking close 
Field 29's over there. That's some grass that we'll be cutting. And storing that cut grass in our hay and straw storage building. That's kind of why I put it over there, because it's kind of central to our grass fields. So I was hoping that was going to make it a little bit more convenient. Okay. Another potato field off to our right there. Pretty good size one too. And there's our other one, which is also a good size potato field. So these three potato harvests are gonna give us plenty of potatoes. And of course we're gonna use those for feed for the animals. So pretty much everything that we're doing right now at this stage is just to prepare for the animals. All right, so we're gonna go down here and then we can cut through these trees. Thank goodness. <laughs> and there's our straw and hay. And now we're gonna hook up our TMR mixer. So, and you can see we have the optimal amount of straw and hay. So now we just need to add silage. I could add some hay. Should I add a little hay? Oof. I could add a little more hay. And to do that... We just go down in here. Hmm. Really? Come on. I can't get up that ramp. Are you kidding me? Bad angle? <coughs> Try a little head start. Oh, hold on. That should, yeah. There we go. Yeah, see, no, 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 no. That's what's funky about this thing. Um, <clears throat> too much straw. So I think now I need to add grass. Uh, I haven't really used this at all. So I'm a little... Yeah, so the, okay, so this is right. Okay. So now I need to fill the balance whoop, whoop, with silage. Right? I believe that's how it works. So, what we're going to do now is, we're going to, boy, that thing looks full. Well, it is full. But what we need to do is add silage, and then it becomes TMR. I hope I'm doing this right. Oh, 
I've used TMR one other time. But I didn't use a mixer like this. I used Mar... Oh, oof. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I used uh, Marhu's uh, placeable mod. It's basically like three kind of little silos. And you just dump the stuff in, and it mixes, and then it comes out a spout. Um, so I've never used one of these Kuhn mixers. So you really didn't have to... And the New Holland is full. Oh, come on, dude. Because the case Puma is an idiot. Get back here. Whoop. And the thing that makes me a little nervous is I'm going to have to obviously. Hmm, what am I going to do? Yeah, I got to detach to get some silage and then dump it in so I'll have to put the weight on so then I guess hmm, I'll just do one bucket of silage and then I'll reattach to the coon and then see what it does fifteen thousand liters So it looks like it could be obviously a little bit more than that. So I'm wondering how far that amount of TMR will go. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> yeah, I drove right by the exit. shrubs if possible trying to stay on the road not easy New Holland 66%, the Rostel Marsh 47. So they're going to be okay for a little bit. Wait a minute. I didn't go too far, did I? Wait a minute. You gotta be kidding me. I did. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I haven't even been drinking. Oh, I gotta open that gate so I can back in. 
Unless it opens out. Thank God it doesn't. Oops. Yeah, it's Friday night. I haven't even been drinking. Take it that tight. But of course, that hedge is going to be in the way. Alright. <clears throat> Here we go. Yeah, so it's Friday night. What time is it? I think it's. Not sure what time it is. Boy, I have this thing floored. And it's going 10, 12. It's almost midnight. I gotta work tomorrow, too. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. If I can ever make it back to the farm, we're gonna throw some silage in here, and hopefully that works. And if it doesn't, well, then it doesn't. I'll figure it out in the next episode. Can't believe I took that wrong turn. Son of a gun. Yeah, he's, he's struggling with this load. It's a little bit of an incline, but not much. Now he's speeding up. It's a little flatter. Alright, so we're going to go take a right here. You can see how difficult it would be to get a combine down here. Everything is just oversteering with this heavy load. I mean, <clears throat> it would be tough to get a, a, anything bigger than what I already have. I mean, it's doable, but we'll see. Let's see if you can make it up here. Come on. Come on. The grass field cut. Alright, so. Now, of course, we're going to need our weight because it'll tip right over. go see why this is not emptying. Really? Like, you, uh, just take your time, pal. Alright, so this is going to be 1860. it's going to take at least two. So I'm going to put one more in and then we'll check it. Taken anymore. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, what a waste. Alright. Oh, yeah. See? That's what I'm talking about. Just with that amount of silage in there. Alright, so let me dump this. I'm wondering if this weight mod is too realistic 
or unrealistic for that matter. Alright, now let's see guys. Hopefully this all those measures silage not enough. Okay. <coughs> Hmm. So it's saying more silage. Okay. But I tried to put more in and it stopped. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's try and put more silage in. I'm going to try this one more time. It's getting late. And I'm sure you guys don't want to see me do this or try this a bazillion times. <laughs> I don't blame you, I don't either. I just want it to work. not going in. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that's because I have it high up like that. Alright, well, let me empty that. And... Let me see if I can... See, that's what kills me about this game. It's these, this is like, the, the littlest thing just throws it off. And... Let's see. <clears throat> Mixing ratio. Hay, silage, straw. 50, 60, 70, 80, 88. Um, what if I turn it on? No, it doesn't do anything. What if I... I can't unload it. <coughs> Tip side left. Alright, let's see what happens. That's the beef. Oh, so we're gonna do tip side right, I guess. Oh no, we could get, there's a left here. I don't think it's gonna work because I don't think it's TMR yet because we don't have enough silage. Oh, of course, I had to hit that, right? stuff in there, but <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it filled it, but what did it fill it with is the question. Let's check this out here. Fattening pigs. Productivity went to 61. Silage is full. TMR is zero. So I guess that just added silage. Hmm. Okay. Well, hey, it went from 40 to 61 percent. Not bad. <clears throat> Obviously, I got to figure this out still. But I'm getting there. And... 
if you guys have any tips, please feel free. Yeah, drop some comments. Let me know. Um, but thanks for watching. If you made it this far, appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying it. I'm having a blast. This series, it's tough, man. i got to get back to Michigan, Sosnovka, too. But I just feel like this series is really starting to get really, really good and come together. Because these animals, is, I've never done it, so I've been wanting to do it. And Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.